Yeah, no, oh God, just another nightmare. I was running. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're leaving? Yeah, well, I'm late already. Yeah. It's a long day ahead. Always a long day ahead. I can have Steve cover for me. No, oh, that's, that's okay. I do know how to order a pizza. Yeah, you look cool. New client. You hear from Ridley yet? No. No, don't worry, you will. That means more to you than it does to me. By the way, your grandmother's back. Should do me a favor and have dinner with her tonight. Will you be there? I wasn't invited. That sucks. I'll give her time. And don't use that word in front of her. Call you later. Bye. Good morning, law offices. Yes, Margaret. Mr. Sager, your 10.30 is here. Send her in? Yes, sir. Mrs. Fairchild? I'm so grateful you could see me on such short notice, Mr. Sager. It's my pleasure. Have a seat. You'd uh, like me to prepare a will for you? Is that correct? Yes, it should be fairly simple. I'd like to leave everything to my son, Paul. Do you mind? Oh, not at all. As a matter of fact... uh... Please, have one of mine. Don't mind if I do. I really should quit. My son's always after me. Mine, too. He keeps leaving uh, gruesome medical literature by my bed. Well, I think it's all right to have one tiny vice, don't you? Well, in your case, I'm certain of it. Uh, I'll need a complete listing of all your assets and any assets held jointly with your husband, of course. My husband died last year, Mr. Sager. I just moved here from Florida. My son and I needed a new beginning. I see. Paul will be starting Ridley this year. Ridley? It's my alma mater. As a matter of fact, my son will be a freshman there. Hopefully. His grades suffered a little this year. We lost his mother just before Thanksgiving. Oh. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Sometimes it just seems unbearable, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, uh, this shouldn't take more than a week. If you bring me the papers, I can begin. I'll have them sent immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your son. You too. You're still mad. I thought you were in Italy. France. And I'm back. I missed you. 
I was hoping we could be friends again. Friends? Is that what we were, Kelly? Friends? Sandbox pals? You know what I mean. What? That you can bail out of my life and just stroll back in whenever you feel like it? If Sean's whipped. He'll roll over like a dog. This was a mistake. No. I made the mistake. I trusted you. How many times do I have to apologize to you, Sean? What is it going to take to make you happy? My mother had just died, Kelly. I needed you here. You left me. I thought I was in love. I hoped that you'd understand that. Mel, you left me for someone more mature. First I lose Mom, and then you. Sean. Uh-uh. I don't need you here anymore. I don't need anyone. You know, when I left, you were a boy. I thought maybe that you'd grown up. Just sit, darling. You know how to make conversation. Yes, Grandma. Um, how was Palm Beach? Did you stay with your sister? Unfortunately, yes. She's married again to a perfectly unacceptable man. How's your music coming? I've decided to go to Ridley, Grandma. You were going to Juilliard. It was all settled. Dad wanted me to go to Ridley and be a lawyer, like him. Your mother was the most musical person I have ever known. It just, it just, it seemed to flow out of her. You're very much like her, Sean. I miss her so much. She was everything to me. I miss her too, Grandma. But you got to stop blaming Dad. It wasn't his fault. It should never have happened. It should never have happened. I didn't know you were back. Sorry. You're jumpy. Everything go all right? Yes, Mother. I am now officially a member of the senior class of Ridley College. No problem with the transcripts? Of course not. I'm a straight-A student, remember? Don't get too comfortable, Paul. This isn't a game. Isn't it? We're not going to fail this time. And get a new wardrobe. This isn't Miami. Hello? Oh, yes, this is Vivian. Seven o'clock? Oh, I can't make it till 7.30. Thank you, Margaret. That was Justin Sager's secretary. The will is ready. Does that mean I'm rich? Only if you keep your grades up. Dear. Mr. Sager. Mrs. Fairchild. There was no one out front. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I try to let Margaret go home at a civilized hour. Have a seat. I have your will ready. I think everything is in order here. It's just a couple of points I'd like to go over with you, and then uh, you can sign it whenever you like. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. If you give me a pen, I'll sign it right now. Well, I'd rather you took it home with you and looked it over first. Anyway, we need two witnesses to make it all legal. You're very thorough. I like that. Well, where do we begin? Oh, uh, well, it's it's very straightforward, actually. Uh, I just want to point Sorry. out... Excuse me? My stomach is growling. <laughs> The truth is, I'm too hungry to think clearly. Do you think we could finish this over dinner? My treat. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I tend to forget about time. Of course, on the condition that you let me do the treating. If you insist. They say all it takes is time. They lied. Mm -hmm. You know, when Allison died, I wanted to die too. I thought, what's the point? If it hadn't been for Sean. For me, it was Paul. I think. It was easier for me, though. Mason had a heart attack, but he had a good life. For you, Justin, feeling so responsible. Well, I was responsible. It was an accident. He fell asleep at the wheel. Somebody's touched me so much. Is it all right? I should call Sean. Yes. Are you okay? I feel so alive. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you for giving me back my life. Did I wake you? It's after 10. Yeah, I uh, fell asleep in the den. You okay? Yeah, why? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, last night I was going to call. Listen, can uh, you meet me at the boat today? I've got some stuff to do. What's wrong? Nothing. I'd just, uh, just like to see you. Okay, sure. Um, how's, uh, how's one o'clock? One it is. Okay, bye. We got too many wires. I think uh, we got too many thumbs. <laughs> you know who could do this in five minutes? Mom. Mom. We had some great times on this boat. Some wonderful memories. Yeah, we were fishing, diving when we went diving. Oh, yeah. You taught me how to navigate. First time I had sex was on this boat. Me and Kelly. You never told me that. Mom knew. Can I level with you? Sure. I met someone. Who? Well, her name is Vivian. She's a wonderful woman. I think you really like her. I hope you do. That's where you were last night? Yes. Sean, this has nothing to do with the way I feel about your mother. Then it's just for sex? No. Sean, I'm 48 years old. I gotta start having a life again sometime. You know? I thought we had a life. We do. You know that. I just hope you give her a chance. If, if that's if that's what you want. Thank you. I better get back to the office. Okay. You go on, I'll clean up. You'll be alright? Yeah. Don't electrocute yourself. <laughs> I got accepted at Ridley. I knew you would. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Phonics 101. You know this since sixth grade, man. Not exactly Juilliard, is it? Nope. But then you don't meet the right people at Juilliard. How bad could it be? You take some music classes, hey, and we'll still be together. Like the Stones, right? Do you realize Mick Jagger's older than my dad? Nobody's older than your dad. True. He didn't understand me. You know, my problem is, I got the soul of Byron, I got the genius of Horowitz, and I got the morals of Rin Tin Tin. I'm conflicted. Speaking of which, have you seen Kelly since she got back? Once. We fought. Oh, there's a surprise. Listen, I'm really worried about her. She keeps trying to see me naked. You wish. Oh, you wish. Hello? Sean, it's Dad. Where were you? I was worried. I'm in Vegas. Listen, son, I have something to tell you. What? Vivian and I just got married. Sean, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Did you hear what I said? I'm married. Yeah, I, I heard you. We'll be home tonight. 
And uh, just a second, Vivian wants to say hello. Hello, Sean. Oh, that's funny. The, the line's dead. You okay? That was my dad. He just got married. <laughs> Put me down. <laughs> Till I get you over a bed, I won't. Oh, Justin, Sean, you'll drop we're me. We're home. Oh, I feel silly. Put me down. Welcome home, Mrs. Sega. <gasps> Sean, we're home. Sean, what are you doing sitting in the dark? Celebrating. Congratulations, Dad. Well, this is Vivian. Vivian, this is my son. Welcome to Sager Manor, Vivian. Looks like a beer. <laughs> Hello, Sean. I hope we'll be good friends. Sorry. Too many friends already. Can't take on any more until one of them dies. Sean. I think Sean's tired. Why don't you take him up to bed? Good thinking, Viv. Dad's real good at getting people into bed, isn't he? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Where are you going? Uh, no, it's all right. Son? It's all right. It takes time. I'm sorry, he's not usually like this. Don't give it another thought. I won't. I'm far too happy. Sean Sager, aren't you? Yeah. I'm Paul Fairchild. Vivian Fairchild's son? I guess that makes us sort of related. No, it doesn't. Look, I don't like this marriage any better than you do, but it's done. Sean, just because our parents act like jerks doesn't mean we have to. Right. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. This is my friend Chris. It's my frat brother, Boy. Chuck Niles. Hi. Uh, listen, uh, Sigma Delta's having a meltdown party at the frat house tonight. You're both more than welcome to come if you'd like. Thanks. No, I wasn't planning on pledging a fraternity. It's not a rush, Sean. It's just a party. Look, um, my mom told me your dad was a Sigma Delta. I think he'd want you to come. I'm pretty sure you'd have a good time. I know that he would. We'll be there. Ah, the Greeks. Inventors of democracy, olive oil, and naked wrestling. Our education has begun. Eh?
Will you be joining us for dinner? No. I'm going out. Wait a minute. I'm late. Wait a minute. Now, Vivian says you deliberately exposed yourself in front of her? Bullshit. She's lying. Hey, will you watch your mouth. How does my wife you're talking and about? And I'm your son. Or doesn't that count anymore? You make sure that never happens again. Fine. From now on, I'll bolt my fucking door. Ready to rock? Sure. Hey, Judy, want a ride? Here, I'll take a ride. <laughs> so, uh, how do I look? You look swell. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Uh, you can have a Not exactly a funny stair movie, is it? <laughs> no. Hey, you guys. You can't be here without a beer. Ooh, Jay? Chuck. What's up? Dude, forget it. What are you doing here? Hey, you guys know each other? We used to. Can we talk? I don't have anything to say. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Why don't you finish this?
She's beautiful, you know. His new wife, Vivian. Sean, I'm sure your dad's been lonely. Give her a chance. Every woman deserves that. She's not as beautiful as you. Sean, don't. Don't what? Love you? Sorry. Too late. Oh, I always love the wrong people. That's not true. Sean. What? It's your dad. My dad, Justin Sager, where is he? Who are you? I'm his son. I just told you, Justin's sake. Where is he? Well, Sean. Dr. Isaacs, where's my dad? I'm sorry, Sean. We did everything we could. Sean, we lost him. No. I know you. I'm a hospital. I think we should talk. About what? I was there when your dad died. So you were there in the room with him? Yeah. Tell me. He was scared. Something was wrong. I, I could see it in his eyes. He's dying. That's scary. No, man. He kept saying, Vivian. Vivian. Over and over. Like he was trying to tell me something. He's dying. He's calling out his wife's name. I'm telling you, it wasn't like that. She was right there in the room, and he was talking to me. Vivian. Over and over. Why would he do that? Do you think something happened to her? She did something to him. I know it. And she's... She's a piece. But there's something about her. The doctor said her. he had a heart attack. I, I don't give a shit what the doc said. He wasn't there. Why'd you tell the cops? Oh, yeah. That's right. Me and the cops were like this. What's in this for you? got any idea what minimum wage is? Sean, are you in there? All right. You find anything. You find anything real. I'll pay you for it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Carlos is just leaving. I can come back. No, no, no. It, it's okay, miss. The uh, Young Republicans meeting is over. Sean here was just explaining to me the um, finer points of capitalism. Who was that? Nobody. What are you doing here? I saw you leave the funeral. And I figured you'd come here. I was worried about you. A little late for that, isn't it? It's not gonna work, Sean. I'm not going to leave. Suit yourself. 
Don't touch me. Nobody touches me. Kelly. I know. I'm here. Please don't leave me. Please. I won't. No, Paul, that's too extravagant. You don't make the demands. No, it's not. You're rich and I deserve it. Oh, really? And why is that exactly? I've been a very good boy. Have you? I kept my grades up, haven't I? The final exam is still to come. Sean! You remember Paul, don't you? He's decided to move into the spare bedroom. Hey, buddy. We were just deciding what his graduation gift would be, a trip to Spain or a new car. Help me out, pal. I'm trying to get her to spring for both. <laughs> Absolutely not. One or the other. We'll let Sean decide. What do you think, sweetheart? A trip to Spain or a new BMW? What happened to my mother's picture? Oh, I had it put away. I didn't think you'd mind. It seems so morbid. Put it back. Sean, you're tired. I know this has all been a great strain on you. I said put it back. This is my house, and I want my mother's picture where it was. Oh, Sean, I'm afraid you're confused. This is my house now. This house and everything in it. That's a lie. Your father changed his will, Sean, shortly after we were married. He left it all to me. Everything he had is now mine. I don't believe you. My God, Sean, why would I lie to you? She's just trying to do what's best for you. Yeah? Well, she's got a fucked way of showing it. It's not here. 
good. Let's get out of here. Chris, Sean, what are you boys doing here? Where's my dad's will? Well, it's not in here. Stephen Rose is handling that. What about his Rolodex? Can't find it. It's in my desk for safekeeping. Why? What do you want with that? Sean! If you tell me what you're looking for, maybe I could help you. That private detective, the one Dad used, what's his name? Costello. Why? What do you want with him? I want to hire him. What's going on here? What are you doing? I want to find out what happened to my dad, Margaret. Sean, your father died of a heart attack. What if he didn't? Costello? Uh, my name's Sean Sager. Justin Sager was my dad. What time is it? Uh, it's about 4.15. You know, day? What day? Well, let me get this straight. She topped your inheritance, and now you're angry. No, no, no. It's, it's not about money, man. Look, it is always about money. Look, you did some jobs for my dad. All I'm asking is for you to do one for me. Hmm. I don't work for free. Don't worry, I can pay. Yeah, you got that look about you. Go, go home, kid. <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna help me? It means I'm going back to sleep. Why is it that all you rich kids smell like soap? That was beautiful. No. I have no strength left. Time has robbed me of everything. This house was filled with music once. Come on, play the piano with me. Knock my socks off. <laughs> That'll be the day. She took Mom's picture down. It's not right. Well, it has to be even for the painting. We can hang it in here. Then we can both see it whenever we wish. Perhaps that'll make you feel better. It doesn't belong here, Grandma. It belongs at home. How'd you get in here? It's a medical report on your dad. What kind of medical report? Very interesting one. Let me see it. <laughs> You're funny, man. All right. How much are we talking about? Three bills. I don't keep that kind of money around here. I figured. Here's my address. Come to my place tomorrow morning. Oh, and Sean, you really should get a better security system, man. Someone could rob you.
Where's that address? It's uh, 15 Paloma, apartment F. Mm-hmm. He said he found a medical report. Yeah, he said that already. Should be in the next block. Costello. That's Italian. Damn. No, nothing. I, I just... I. You don't... Like pizza? Sure I do. Look, kid. I don't chat. Especially at 10 o'clock in the morning. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Why would he kill himself? He didn't. You can't be serious. Well, I'm afraid that I am. Mr. Saker, your husband's will is very, very specific. Sean is his sole heir. There must be some mistake. Justin changed his will. He told me he did. My partner was a very scrupulous attorney. I don't think he'd make a mistake. You inherit only in the event of Sean's demise. And I do think that Justin assumed that you would be well provided for from your previous marriage. How much is the estate, anyway? Just over $10 million. I don't want you around here when the cops come. So you better get out of here. I got work to do. Does that mean you're taking the job? Maybe. And under California law, I'm sure you have some claim against the estate. But considering the brevity of your marriage... How much? Well, that would be up to the courts. But I would assume that it would be in the range of three or four hundred thousand dollars. Out of ten million? Yes. Mrs. Sager. Mrs. Sager, if you do intend on contesting the terms of the will, then I should tell you. No, of course not. I would never go against Justin's wishes. But I'm wondering if you could do me one tiny favor. Yes, of course. 
Sean has been through so much. Losing his mother, now his father. I was hoping that we could delay telling him about all this. He seems so unstable right now. I'm afraid with all this money, he might do something reckless. Certainly. I will need some time to sort everything out. And I see no reason why I can't delay until Sean is... Feeling better. Feeling better. Exactly. I can't believe Justin would lie to me. I gave myself to him. Gave myself. 400 grand isn't that bad. 400 grand is nothing. Don't think small. I don't like that in you. You could always take it to court. No. No court. This is not going to happen again. Not for the second time. join the fraternity yet. No, he's not real big on brother. I told you this is not a game. He has to join. Why is it so important? Because it's what Justin would have wanted. Good morning, Captain. So what's going on? Big guy hanging from a beam. Captain. What is this? Ah, uh, murder. Fuck with me, Costello. You'll lose. Well, if you're asking me if I did it or know who did, the answer's no. You called it in. What are you doing here? I'm on a case. And all I can tell you is the stiff's name is Carlos Fuentes. Who are you working for? Donald Trump. Would you like to go in, Eddie? On what charge? I don't know. What about being a pain in my black ass? Oh, I do try. Get out of my face. Nice to see you, Lavanda. Looking good. Yeah. Hey, Sean, where are you? I'm in here, Chris. You want to explain to me what it is we're looking for this time? Anything? Any, anything suspicious or unusual? Well, like this? This is serious, Chris. So is this. Hey, Sean, don't you think you're getting a little obsessive about this? Can you help me out, please? Check over there? Yes, sir. Dude, there's nothing here, bro. Keep looking. Hey, Sean. You better take a look at this. You're nuts. She's back. You put my mother's picture back. I'm sorry. I never should have taken it down. I seem to have done everything wrong. You put it back. That's what counts. 
I don't blame you for hating me. It's my fault, everything. I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate you. I don't. I miss my mom. I know. I'm alone, too. Can we finally be friends? Take it from line 14. Sager, try and get the bridge right, will you? What's up, guys? Why are we stopping? You got a problem? Yeah, you. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, you suck. Well, guys. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool it. Relax, man. Cool it. Nuts. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fucking nuts. Come You're nuts. Come on. Get out of here. What's with you, man? What's with you? You're out of control. Fuck him. No, this has nothing to do with him. This is you. You cut class. You don't want to work on our music. You know what these are? These are brush offers from Sigma Delta. For both of us, Paul gave them to me. This is what we've talked about since we were 12. School, music, you and me doing it together, and now you're blowing it for no reason. You don't understand, Chris. Yes, I do. You're obsessed with her, man. Hey, I understand. I saw her. But your dad would have been crazy not to marry her. It's a psycho, dude. It's like you're hot for yourself. Shut up. One more word, I swear to God. One more word. Oh. Uh -huh. Have you seen my cigarette case? I don't smoke, remember? The only vice you've missed. You have such a beautiful body. My credit card. Twenty-year-old skin. Mm, you're gonna spoil me. Yes. And that takes money. I'm waiting for you, man. Lucky me. What's that? You said you don't work for free. <laughs> What's this, your allowance for the week? I can get more. $1,000? It's more money than I've made in the last three months. It's too easy. Well, you don't know it's going to be that easy. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. Man, 
what happened to you? My dad said you used to be good. I woke up one day and I wasn't 25 anymore. And it pissed me off. Well, here's to your retirement fund. Look at me, kid. Now, your daddy stopped using me years ago. Don't you think he had a reason? Well, I'm not my dad. Found this. My stepmother's bathroom. That could be anything. Uh, I don't think so. It fell out from underneath the drawer. I also found uh, this. Those are prints? I think so. I can do this, kid. It's been a long time. It's just like riding a bike. Dr. Isaacs. Yes? Can I talk to you about Justin Sager? What about him? Well, what does this mean, sir? This is supposed to be confidential. Where did you get this? What does it mean, Doc? There's nothing here. Blood test, toxicology, post-mortem exams, it's all standard. It's a toxicology report, what does that indicate? The usual, trace alcohol, pseudoephedrine, that was for his allergies. Nicotine, uh, ibuprofen. Nicotine, is that normal? If he was a heavy smoker, yes. Although these levels are pretty high. But the fact is, the man worked too hard and he smoked too much. This is the result. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. Hey, Doc, one question. Could nicotine, if the dose were potent enough, kill someone? Absolutely. And the symptoms would be? Well, it would look pretty much like a heart attack. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, sure. Have a good day. So, you want me to exhume Justin Sager, dig him up, is that right? Right. Because you think there might be something suspicious about his death? Right again. Get out of my face. What is that, a no? Don't provoke me, Eddie. I'm not easy anymore. Yellow pages are full of PIs. Why him? Because he's the best. He was once. Excuse me, Captain. I have that uh, information you wanted. So what are you waiting for, Heimlich? We uh, ran the prints from the cigarette case to Miami PD. There, Mrs. Sagers. Turns out she has two priors. Possession of marijuana. She was released with a fine on both counts. It's squat. Wait, there's more. They remembered her. Apparently, she's a real looker. Seems she met up with some Palm Beach socialite and charmed the pants off him. Literally. Two weeks later, he marries her. He was 75, she was 40. It was quite a scandal. She told my dad she was 36. If it was a crime to laugh at your age, half the women in California would be in jail. Yes, ma'am, but it gets better. They go on their honeymoon cruise, and guess what? Three days out, the old guy turns up dead, heart attack. Seventy-five, married to a woman half his age. What did you expect? Guess who inherits the old man's fortune? The widow Sager. Bingo. But the family's taken her to court, so no money has changed hands. What about the syringe? According to Miami PD, she's diabetic. They let her inject herself with insulin, but we found something else inside the syringe. Nicotine? Yeah. You holding out on me? Lucky guess. Uh, Captain, could I speak to you privately? I mean, without the boy? Go buy yourself a coat. No way, this involves me too. Say what? <clears throat> We took fingerprints off the syringe, ma'am. The stepmothers? No, ma'am, just the boys. We had prints on the kid? Yes, ma'am. We booked them last year. He got kicked out of school for assault on another kid. Uh, apparently, he's got a real temper. Wait, 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 wait. Now, we all know the boy handled the syringe. Of course, his fingerprints would be on it. And not hers. She was supposed to put it there. I mean, come on, Eddie. It doesn't make sense. 
So you're suggesting that the kid put the syringe under the drawer to set the stepmother up? I'm not suggesting anything, Captain. I'm just telling you what we found. Get out of my way. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm having a party, Sean. I wanted to meet some of your father's friends. Where did you get this? Your father gave it to me. It belonged to my mother. Take it Sean, off. Sean, you're hurting me. Sean, for God's sake. It's okay. It's okay. He hasn't been himself lately. Nightmares, fights, suicide attempts. That's a lie. Sean, Sean, it's all right. Listen to me. Your father told me you were having emotional problems, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with me. Of course there isn't, darling, and no one thinks there is. Now, why don't you go upstairs to bed? I'll be up soon to make sure you're comfortable. Leave me alone. Kelly Givens? Yes. I'm Detective Sergeant Burnett. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Sean Sager. on campus tonight asking questions about you. What did you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. Sean, you're scared. Sean, don't, don't be scared. Don't. I'll take care of everything. Dr. Gabriel, Justin Sager here. From the law firm of Sager and Rose, California. Uh, yes, hello, sir. I represent Vivian Fairchild, and I'm trying to locate the medical records on her late husband, Mason Fairchild. I was wondering, doctor, if you wouldn't mind terribly faxing those records to me. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. 
Sean? They coming down? It's not here. Maybe he got lucky. He did. Ah, Sean, I was worried. <laughs> worried? Well, you shouldn't do that, Viv. Worrying causes wrinkles. Might make you look older than you already are. <laughs> so, Chris tells me you've invited us to join Sigma Delta. Uh, yes, I did. Good, I accept. Great. Well, you know the initiation's Friday night. Can't wait. Have a nice day, you two. You did it. Good boy. I told you I would. You will watch out for him, won't you? Of course. He's like a brother to me. And a son to me. levels a hundred times normal within weeks of marrying the same woman is crap less than crap speculation i don't dig up a corpse based on speculation if justin sager was murdered it is your job to find out are you telling me my job costello if i have to you have an opinion too <sighs> captain I know exhuming a body is unusual, but so is nicotine poisoning. And the odds of it happening twice is so unlikely that I really feel that... Put it, it be... out! Take the poor bastard up. Call Judge Lucas. But if this blows up in my face, you will find yourself policing urinals in the park for the next 20 years. Thank you, LeBron. Oh. Four years of marriage, huh? How is it? He's there when I get home. Hey, one thing. You were never easy. Of course. From now on, Mother only drives Bentleys. Don't disappoint me tonight, darling. I'll be waiting for you. There it is, a puncture, very small, just under the tongue. How would someone manage that? My guess is he was drinking. When he fell asleep, it wasn't very hard. Are you sure this is what killed him? He's got enough nicotine in him to kill a horse. Oh, and the red paint you got off the refrigerator door? I checked with forensics. Nail polish, expensive. Thanks, Doc. I owe you. Oh, you were right about Carlos Fuentes. How do you mean? 
When he hung himself, he was already dead. grow up. Sean? I'm not saying he did it for sure. What I'm saying is the kid's too cool. It's like he's manipulating us, like he knows stuff we don't. And, and, and I don't like the way he looks at me. He's too innocent, too blank. Yeah, show me a teenage boy that don't look blank. Burnett, a Kelly Gibbons call for you. Mm -hmm. Said to tell you that Sager kid Went to a frat initiation at the Old Bridge with another guy named, uh... Paul Fairchild. Yeah. And the Sager kid has a gun. Yeah. I better go tell the camp you do that. Mrs. Fitzpatrick. Hello, Vivian. I've come for my daughter's portrait. Are we all men here? Yes, sir! Are you sure? Yes, sir! Hi, right, Pledges, listen up. This is your final test of manhood. Each and every one of us has passed this test. Now it's your turn. Chuck! Each one of us will choose one pledge. That pledge must have total trust in his brother. I made the jump yesterday. Thanks to my brother, I survived. Jump down there. Hey, you're not willing to do this. Just say so now and, and you'll be excused. Not everyone's cut out to be a Sigma Delta. Good. Now, each one of you will step to the edge when your name is called. Your brother will jump first and then instruct you from the water below. You do exactly as your brother tells you. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Sean, I want to send him by your stepmom. I didn't mean it, man. It's okay. Hey, no talking! Chuck! Come on, you fucking Come on! Let the games begin. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready, sir. One, two, three. I choose you. Oh, <laughs> 
finger. Ah! See, I don't see him, man. Quit fooling around. Stay back, please. trying to kill me. Kill you? What are you talking about, man? I was trying to help you. I thought you were hurt. You're lying. But that doesn't surprise me. You and Vivian lie about everything. This is crazy, man. I'm your friend. No use pleading, Paul. I have emotional problems, remember? I don't know what I'm doing. Sean, please, talk to Vivian. She loves you. She's trying to help. I saw you in bed with her. Not exactly a poster child for mental health yourself, huh? Are ya? What are you gonna do? Turn around. Sean. Turn around. Me when you hit the chance. I do. You and your ugly mother. She's not ugly. And she's not my mother. You're lying to me, kid. I'm not lying. He tried to kill me. I, I, I didn't. I didn't mean to shoot him. It was an accident. It was your gun? I was scared. I mean, he tried to kill me, Eddie. Why did you tell me about your police record? Slipped my mind. Bullshit. It's the truth. All right, I swear. Look, I. I didn't want you thinking I had anything to do with my father's death, all right? Did you? No! But I love my father. Why won't you believe me? Why should I? Because... I need someone to. Okay, Chuck. Let me see if I have this right. You gave underage boys liquor and told them to jump drunk. Yes, ma'am. It was part of the initiation. Captain? 
Uh, we found one of them. He's dead. You're in deep shit, frat boy. for what I do. Sean, you're scaring me. Oh, I don't think so, Vivian. I don't think there's much that scares you. I do have some bad news, though. Paul is dead. Stop it, Sean. This is not amusing. He told me something before he died, though, Vivian. He told me you're not his mother. Just what does that make you, anyway? I'm warning you. He tried to kill me. Of course, you know about that. Didn't work, though. Right now, he's lying in the woods, covered in his own blood. That's a lie. You haven't got the guts to kill anyone. I killed him, Vivian. He gave you everything. He loved you. I liked you right from the start. I knew you liked me, too. It was just a matter of time. Why did you tell me? It was a job. A job. I met your grandmother in Florida. She made me an offer. An offer? She set it all up. Do you think I chose your father by accident? What do you mean, an offer? I'll teach you, Sean. Go on, Grandma. Pick it up. You've taken everything else. You might as well finish the job. Come on. Pick it up. Finish the job. Kill me, too. He 
killed my little girl. He had to pay, Sean. He had to pay. No, Grandma. That's not the way it works. You pay. I pay. We have to live. Sean. Sean. You're all I have left. You have How are you doing? 